What's up guys, it's Emmy here. Today we're going to talk about Halo 4 bringing Halo back to the MLG main stage. And also have a little bit of Halo 4 news for you guys. But first, we have the MLG Top Play of the Week. On today's Top Play, we got Danes playing MLG Multi-Flag on Narrows. The score is 2-2 and he wants his flag back, so he's going to start off getting the melee kill for his first. Get the second double kill dodging the rocket, then finally he's going to get the third guy with the one shot, saving his flag and capturing theirs. And that was this week's top play by Danes. If you guys want to be featured as the next top play, make sure that you guys send me your clips on Halo 3 or Halo Reach. Halo Forward Unto Dawn premieres October 5th. For those of you who do not know what Halo Forward Unto Dawn is, it's a Halo live action series and it's probably going to be one of the best so far. 343 just posted a video of the Warthog used in Halo Forward Unto Dawn and how it's used. I really enjoyed the video and I'm sure that you guys would too. I'd love to drive this thing, it, it looks so awesome. If you guys want to check out that video, it's going to be in the description below. Neil Davidge posted on Facebook in Bristol today mastering the Halo 4 official soundtrack. 18 months of work, 4 hours of music all squeezed into 78 minutes but sounding great. So the Halo 4 soundtrack is finished. There are 10 tracks and they are all great. That includes Closing Hostilities, Rush. Awakening, Destiny, Encounter, Arrival, Unveiled, Requiem, which is one of my favorites, A New Journey Begins, and A New Beginning. I'm going to leave a link in the description so that you guys can go and listen to the samples of all these tracks. In the July 25th Halo Bulletin, BS Angel gave us some news on the Halo 4 Limited Edition console. She writes, We started off with a few different concepts, but most of them were forerunner in direction. What was interesting about this process was looking both at our universe for inspiration as well as the fabrication, material, and tech processes that had become available to us. Figuring out what we could do and how those manufacturing and painting techniques could apply to the new unit was a completely organic two-way process. So the console came straight out of the game and it has a forerunner theme. She also gives us some information on the two exclusive Halo 4 controllers. One of them has a Forerunner theme, and the other has a UNSC theme. Triton will be making a Halo 4 headset. My guess is it will be 7.1 Dolby surround sound with a true wireless system, because the headset looks just like the Triton's new Warhead headset with a little Halo twist. 343 Industries' Frankie said, We've worked closely with Triton engineers and industrial designers to ensure compelling and appropriate technology and aesthetic designs that map closely to Halo's epic sci-fi universe. A lot of people were afraid about the headset because it was said that Mad Cats was making it. Well, they are. Mad Cats actually owns Triton. I did not know that until I did a little research. So let's talk about Halo 4 bringing Halo back to the MLG main stage. MLG has kind of shunned Halo because of Halo Reach. Um, it, it, in my opinion, it wasn't one of the greatest competitive games out there. Um, it could have been a lot better, they had a lot to work with, but it just it didn't hit that sweet spot for MLG. I'm sure that Halo 4 can bring back that MLG aspect. A lot of the pros said that they like it, there needs to be a lot restricted, and of course they didn't have like an MLG game type to play. So as a community, we all need to get together, we need to repopulate the game battle forums, we need to repopulate the MLG Halo 4 forums. We need to come as a community, and we need to bring back Halo 4 to its glory that it needs and that it deserves. Um, some other things that I miss is the Halo community itself. Uh, its community is kind of gone, it's gone to other games, and it's just not what it used to be. Some things that made that community just so awesome was Recon, or the uh, Bungie, Week Bungie Weeklies, or all that kind of stuff. Um, Recon was one of the biggest things that I miss. Uh, that idea that these people could have this armor, and these people, these this massive, like all of us, we never got it. Um, that that was an awesome thing because we would go into a game and say we saw somebody with recon we're like oh my gosh dude I, I want to talk to you or I want to take a screenshot in the game or I want to teabag you even so I think that Halo 4 really needs to bring that idea of recon back I know that Halo 4 has already confirmed the recon armor but that idea of recon I think that needs to be coming back so I want to know what you guys think do you guys think that idea of recon should come back and also, do you guys think that the Halo community can be what it once used to be? Make sure you guys tell me in the comment section below. If you guys like this video, make sure that you rate, comment, and subscribe. My name's Zimmy, and I'm out.